Let's talk today about what makes up a split central system for heating and air conditioning. It's described as a split system because it consists of indoor equipment and outdoor equipment which is connected by a pipe known as a line set. The indoor equipment would consist of a gas-fired furnace or an air handler. The outside equipment would be a condenser unit and also could be a heat pump. The gas-fired furnace is going to produce a flame which is going to heat up a wire grid. That wire grid is known as a heat exchanger. A blower is then going to blow that air through ductwork through the house. It's going to come out the outlets and be drawn across the room to a larger duct known as an air return. This circulates the air across the room, keeping the room comfortable, and returns back to the furnace where the process is repeated. Now there are three different styles of burners. There's a single stage, which simply goes on and off. There's a two stage, which has a high and a low setting. And there's also a modulating, which is going to be the most efficient type. And that is going to increase or decrease depending upon demand. Similarly, the blower motor itself is available as a multi-speed, low, medium, or high settings, or a variable speed, which again, will be the most efficient method of operation. It should also be noted that the furnace or air handler are available in a variety of configurations. Upflow units would typically be mounted in the basement. A downflow unit is often used in a first floor application. And in the attic or crawl spaces, oftentimes we would use horizontal units. These are all available in packages that are very cost effective or individual components can be purchased separately to customize your installation to make it most effective and efficient. During the cooling season, the condensing unit outside is going to have refrigerant pipes which is going to transfer cold refrigerant back into the house and it's going to go into an evaporator coil which is either going to be encased or uncased on top of the furnace unit itself. When it goes to the evaporator coil, cold air will be transferred while removing humidity from the air. This blower motor will again blow this cool air through the outlets and across the room and return back to the unit to complete the process. A heat pump operates in the same manner for the cooling. It does have a distinction. In the winter time, it is able to produce heat. Ironically, it takes cold outdoor air and compresses and condenses that outdoor air to generate heat and that heat is transferred into the furnace unit itself from where it is uh, carried throughout the house. There is another type of system known as a hybrid. The hybrid system actually incorporates a heat pump and also a traditional or conventional gas-fired furnace. The advantage of this is that during more moderate times the heat pump can be used, which is a more cost-effective way to deliver heating and cooling because it just runs on electricity alone. During times when it exceeds 40 degrees and gets lower than that, the furnace would automatically kick in. You don't have to manually adjust that. And therefore, the furnace could deliver a greater volume of heat in times when there's greater demand. Check out all the components that are available from units.com, Y-O-U-N-I-T-S.com.